The following contest is a six-woman tag team match. On the way to the ring, the Rockers! A group of incredibly impressive individuals, each of them main event caliber. Now they're even greater than the sum of their parts. And their opponents, the Generation. We're looking at some of the most intense competitors in all of WWE, about to take part in one of the most anticipated matches ever. And these two are both starting things off for their respective teams. Referee's going to have their hands full in this one. Yeah, it can be hard enough to get control of the situation in a standard two-on-two -two tag team match. Adding additional numbers for a match like this is just asking for chaos. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Oh, nicely done. Seated suplex. Tag her partner. Uh-oh. And a suplex. Ooh, well-planted knee. Ouch. Oh, she's trying. Trying to create space. She's enduring some damage. Tag made. Tag made. Now it did palm strikes. The 10 beats of the modern. Shot after shot after shot. Oh, son, coming. Comes in off the tag. Arm trapped. Oh, endless knee strikes. Quick tags are so key to victory in a six-woman tag team match. But at what point do you just ride the hot hand and let one competitor take charge? Well, it's always good to go in with a team-based strategy. But if someone seems to have things in hand, I say let it ride. The benefit of a three-woman team is there are two superstars who can eventually jump in if the lead woman gets tired. No, oh, and an elbow. Oh, look at this power. This is unholy. Look at that for reps. And a drop. Time for everyone. 
everyone to clear out. Easier said than done. They are not concerned about anyone else's well-being. Oh, my! And now she delivers her back into the ring. She'll make the tag. And now she's looking to go top rope. Off the top. And she doesn't connect. Oh, look at this power. This is on hold. Looking highly motivated, getting hyped up. Attack from behind. Right after the neck. <laughs> On the move. Let's take a look back at these ladies in action. 